So, we were a group of friends who decided to cosplay the Pixie Hollow Fairies. Throughout our uh, very much trial and error progress, uh, we took a bunch of pictures and videos that will hopefully help you in this same progress if you want to make wings. Because uh, we definitely learned a lot. As you can see on this picture, we managed uh, to do so for a Nakan summer and it was great. Um, but here is how we did it. First off was research and a lot of reference pictures because of course all the wings have individual designs. These designs are very difficult to see on most pictures, but we also have tried to show our results for our research. So you don't have to do this for at least for Nvidia and Serena. So, when you have your references ready, uh, we used a uh, fabric called Iridescent Organza, uh, some garden wire, a good wire cutter, because we found out very quickly that that was definitely worth the money, uh, hot glue, lots of it, uh, some clear contact glue, uh, some white paint. We ended up using bunches mostly, and then just a paintbrush for like corners might be worth investing in some good spray paint, but we used acrylic paint because that was what we had. And in the end, we found out that to secure the wings a bit better, we decided to use some fishing wire, like the see-through wire, to secure the wings to our clothes with a bunch of safety pins. And here you can see how shiny and shimmery our Alcanza fabric is. We actually decided to figure out how big the wings should be by taping a bunch of papers up on our wall and then measuring them out from like what looked the best compared to the person wearing them. So we drew the wings on the wall and sat in front of them so we could see the size difference. After that, we cut them out in cardboard and uh, tried them for size measuring. Uh, these wings were uh, somewhat bigger than uh, the ones we ended up with, because we realized these were way too big. <laughs> when you have the shape in the cardboard that you want, then you can start drawing on your design for the wing. Then we started by outlining the wing, making the general shape in the wire. And uh, we realized that it was not going to be stable enough. So we also made all the internal like designs in wires as well and just cut them up in small pieces. And all those pieces were then hot glued together. We tried filling out the connections so it was going to be like smooth and not just big lumps of glue. And then painting, and painting, and painting, and more painting. When all the paint had dried, we started gluing with the clear contact glue, just small sections at a time, and slowly stretching the organza fabric over it, so there wouldn't be any folds or loose fabric in between the sections of the wing. When the entire base of the wing was covered in the organza fabric, we started uh, by gluing the edges completely and then cutting the excess fabric off and then gluing that down as well. It's a long and tiresome process and you get glue everywhere, but it was definitely worth it in the end. Also just so the seams of the fabric wouldn't unravel. As you can see here, we of course left the wings with a lot of extra wire that we could use to tie them together, or rather wrestle them together, um, to make the base that will go into our corsets. And here you can see the connected wings. I was lucky enough that my corset was on the outside of my clothes because pirates, so that was uh, not an issue. But Becca and Sasha had to make an opening in their clothes to put the wings through.
they are very big and not easy to walk around with indoors. It also felt very wobbly when we were walking around the convention, which is why I am holding back as wings in this video, and why we later added some stabilizers, which made the wings a lot better to walk around with. The wings were not easily transportable as well. Um, here you can see they are lying across the laps of Sasha and Becca while we are driving to the convention. We unfortunately cannot bring them overseas because they will absolutely break if we bring them on a plane. But we have managed uh, two car rides with them now and uh, they are still somewhat fine. <laughs> but look at this shimmer. Honestly, the organza looks so pretty in all kinds of light. So we are so happy with the results here. And lastly, you can see us on stage at Nakon Summer. Thank you for viewing and hopefully this will help you make your own fairy dreams come true.